Sixta Demo Fest is an annual event now, and it's a way of bringing together the researchers in Sixta, that's the Scottish Informatics and Computer Science Alliance, together with people on the investment side, but especially on the small and medium enterprise side. We do need to get local Scottish businesses to take advantage of the world-class research base in our universities, to use that to help them to build smarter products and services they can take out to export markets. So CitySculpt is a simple tool to help artists generate large amounts of architecture very quickly. By combining several profiles and plans, it lets a, an artist rather than a programmer create large amounts of geometry, large amounts of architecture very quickly. OK, well what you can see on the screen here is something that we developed originally for the Perth Concert Hall when it opened. Um, and the idea of it is that it's just a camera and a computer. Um, but the camera is looking at me through the, sorry, the computer is looking at me through the camera um, and it's working out where I am in the image and it's working out whether or not I'm moving. So if I stand perfectly still, then I'll quite quickly fade and vanish from the image. But when I start moving again, then I'm, I'm shown on the screen once more. We're here as a result of our partnership with St Andrews University now. St Andrews um, developed um, uh, the, the module management system. It's basically developed by the academic community for the academic community. And Interlake Limited have come in to help them commercialise that and take it to a, a wider market. We have the director of teaching for the School of Psychology I basically thinks it's the best piece of software in the university, bar none. Um, we, feel, we felt that St Andrews have, have, have definitely um, got a, a product to a level that we could uh, become involved with that and hopefully help them to take it to the next level. We're developing a self-reconfiguring robotics kit. It's a modular robot kit that uh, researchers will be able to assemble by hand and crucially it can uh, reassemble itself. So it's a robot that can change shape and uh, we hope that this will be much more versatile than fixed-shaped robotics. So if we could get more local companies using the expertise within the universities, um, I think that has a potential benefit for the Scottish economy in terms of building world-class products and services and software that then we can take internationally. Our project is uh, to build a faster and secure solution for personal data backup over internet. Currently we are developing a prototype system and once that finished we are aiming to commercialize the idea or try to get more funding. We're working on the problem of uh, building software that has fewer bugs and um, the usual way to do this is people build software, they try it out, uh, something goes wrong and then they try to find out what's wrong and they fix it. So what we're working on is a, is a method called static analysis which, um, which finds bugs before the point at which the software is actually finished uh, and uh, notifies the programmer, allows him, him or her to fix the, pro the bug before they get to the point of, uh, of causing problems during running. Tonight here at the show we're um, showing an implementation of the processor technology that we've been developing here in informatics. The research project that we're showing here is showing how we can automate the process of uh, generating a, a very efficient processor for um, audio playback, such as you might find in an MP3 player. If it were in the commercial world, it would be commercially leading, um, but it's currently an academic project. One of the best things about this event is it's a way of bringing together very smart people, both in academia and in commerce. And it's a way of, I think, celebrating the fact that Scotland's got fantastic horsepower in terms of research and we've really got to up the ante in the way we interact with people on the outside. So this is what it's all about. This production is copyright The University of Edinburgh.